Good afternoon everybody, my name is Andrew. I want to do my first mod review today. We're going to bring to you the Bacteria mod. It's created by Tenox, T-E-N-N-O-X. You can find him on Minecraft forums. The Bacteria mod is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It creates a bacteria that infects the surrounding blocks. Um, you can target the mod uh, depending upon blocks and such. What I'd like to do is show you two or actually three ways to use the mod. There's more than that. Um, before you, before us, you see a barrier. I've created two sections to the barrier. Barrier does exactly what it says. It creates a barrier to keep the bacteria from spreading outside that barrier. So in this case, instead of going outwards, it's going to go down. Um, we have two types of bacteria. We have the bacteria, and then we have what they call the replacement, replacer bacteria. Um, first and foremost, what I'm going to show you is the replacer bacteria. It is the red one right here, the red square. What you want to do is place on top of the bacteria what block you want to replace the blocks below. And give me just one quick moment to change the sunset. I should have checked that before I started. This is powered by a redstone torch. Once again, you'll notice that we're inside a barrier. I have below us, we have grass and dirt. We have the replacement block. And then the block above is what we want to replace the blocks below. So we'll go ahead and power it. Sometimes it takes a moment to get started. But as you can see, it's slowly starting and then it'll speed up. Once it reaches a different type of block, say stone or uh, gravel or sand or whatever else may be in there, it'll stop replacing and then it'll just basically run itself out. As you can see, it's reached the uh, stone below and what it's done is stopped and is basically running itself out. It's a good way a good fast way to make a ceiling and we have a glass ceiling we can get down here and start mining we don't have to worry about uh, mobs falling in on us we don't have to worry about rain getting on us um, you basically have a glass ceiling um, so that's one use for the bacteria mod the second one which is what I use it for is mining I don't know that it was specifically designed for that purpose but that's what I use it for the purple block is the bacteria excuse me bump the mouse you can place the blocks that you want removed on top. It's my understanding you can place up to three blocks. We're going to place two, the two most common. You're going to have dirt and stone. And once again, it is powered by a redstone torch. As we have a barrier in place, it won't travel beyond the barrier, but it will go down. So in this case, since we identified grass, dirt, and um, stone, that's what it will replace. As it goes down, if it comes across ore of any type, it'll just go its way around. In this case, you see that it's bypassing the gravel. The gravel is just going to continue falling uh, until it reaches the bottom or until it reaches a block that did not get eaten. It's pretty quick. As you can see, it's just been just a few moments, and we're already uh, quite a ways down. And this is, a, like I said, a fast, quick, and easy way to create a mine shaft for those of you who like to go underground create homes, bases, what have you on the ground, do a lot of mining and traveling, uh, caves, it's a quick way to find caves. I found spawner this way, diamonds, um, lapis lazuli, redstone, you name it, I found it quickly just using this mod. As you can see, we've already reached um, bedrock. If there had been lava in the way or water, it would have stopped at that point. Um, any exposed stone that it could have continued eating, it would have done so. Uh, in this case, we didn't run into any. We just got a little lucky. You'll notice that all the ore, the iron ore, um, redstone, lapis lazuli, um, I'm sure there's, I don't see any, but if there had been gold or diamonds or anything else, they would have been left as well. Up oh, there's some diamond right there in the corner, and then we're down to bedrock. So if you wanted to create, come in, mine all this exposed mineral out, and then create a floor, then you can start um, branch mining out and... Uh, creating basically an underground base. Now that was that was two methods or two uses for the bacteria mod. One is creating a glass ceiling, replacing the, uh, in this case, the dirt with glass. If you wanted to have replaced it with dynamite, it's the quick way to, it's a quick way to set up a, uh, just, just an extremely large area for dynamite, you can do explosion videos or what have you, some griefing. Please just yeah, let's say you are just steamed or just a pain in the butt like myself. 
and you want to do some serious griefing, you would lay down uh, a block, let's say in this case dirt, put dirt on top of it, this is what we want to destroy. You notice we have no barrier around us, poor chicken doesn't know what's coming. And Power this puppy up, give it a moment to start, and basically it starts spreading like a virus, that's, that's why it's called bacteria. And in this case it's eating all the dirt because it's the only thing we identified. So it's going to eat down to the first thing it comes to, rock, gravel, if there had been sand or anything else under there, it would stop. Now I'll be honest with you, I don't know how far this thing is going to go. Um, if it reaches water and there's no dirt or gravel or no dirt under there for it to continue to eat, it'll stop at the water. If there's dirt under there, it'll work its way across the water to that dirt there. Um, as you can see, it just kind of keeps going and going and going. It's like the Energizer Bunny. Um, on one test world, it, I let it go and it basically ran out of juice when it got out of sight. I flew over there and it was dead. There was no more bacteria. Nothing was getting eaten. On another test world, it just kept going and going and going until finally it just it, it crashed my system. I got it rebooted, went over and was trying to fly around, but everything lagged so horribly I just ended up deleting that world. This is not a mod you want to use in a world that you want to remain pristine. Uh, this is not a mod you want to use in griefing if you want to keep any kind of friends. <laughs> okay, we understand that everybody's going to do a little bit of griefing, but ladies and gentlemen, this is not Basically, griefing. This is terraforming at its worst. Um, you're not going to have any friends you use this on a shared server. Okay, so just be careful. Uh, have fun with it. As you can see, we use it in three different uh, settings. One is to replace. I used glass, but you could have used dynamite, for instance, explosives, and you would have had a pretty good explosion there. You would have had, what, three by th uh, three deep, and what is it, nine, ten across uh, of explosions, or you could have gone all the way down and replaced the bedrock with explosions. Imagine setting that off. That would have crashed your system. Um, once again, this is the uh, bacteria mod, creating by Tenix. It's a, just an awesome little mod. Um, it's eating the uh, terrain so quickly that the terrain generator can't keep up and uh, you can actually see below the terrain uh, see what's down there you can see tunnels and and uh, in one test world I found a spawner that way so keep it up let me know what you think and uh, if you like them I'll do some more in the future